Olympic track star navigates fame with faith Olympian and world record holder Sydney McLaughlin Leverone is opening up about balancing wanting privacy while also being one of the top track and field stars in the world all while holding on to her faith. I think it's cool to be able to represent our sport and have people, you know, recognize track, track and field and want to watch it, she said on the Journey to Gold Zone podcast, especially like younger athletes and whatnot but I do think it is hard to live life when people are always trying to be in it. So, I do like to live a little bit more private life, but I also love representing our sport, so if that means you know get a little more notice, then great. She added, As she navigates fame, McLaughlin Levrone holds on to her faith. I think faith is the foundation of, like you said, my life. She explained, And from there, like that helps me navigate everything. It's the lens in which I view the world through, and so when I am navigating ups and downs and complications, it's looking at it from the lens of, okay, how would God want me to deal with this? How would Christ deal with this? And you know, it helps a lot of the confusion that that can happen. McLaughlin Leverone recently published a book, and the podcast host asked her if she feels like there's pressure to succeed in her other endeavors to the same level as she does on the track. I think, honestly, like as opportunities arise, I just want to do them the best that I can. She said, I do like to write. Maybe not so much about life. I like to write poetry more so than anything else. But I think whether opportunities with brands or whatever it is, just doing it the best I can. And I feel like the track kind of speaks for itself. Paris 2024 will be McLaughlin Levron's third Olympics, and she expects to secure another gold medal. Per NorthJersey.com, we'll first see McLaughlin Leveron Bright and early on Sunday, August 4th and potentially all the way up until Saturday, August 10th in the women's 4x400 meter final.